Uh, so today I'm going to give you uh, an overview of our software platform, uh, Cellport Analytics. Um, before that though, I want to talk to you about uh, where we are with uh, cell culture generally and some of the challenges that we're seeing in the industry and the reason we've created our solution. So cell culture and gene therapy innovations are pouring out of academia. Um, if you guys are familiar with the space, every week there's a new potential breakthrough. There is a, a huge amount of research going on. Um, I've had a cell therapy injected into my knee. My wife has benefited from uh, cell therapy uh, in her medical journey. So it is something that is becoming uh, far more mainstream and at a very rapid clip. We're seeing autologous therapies being approved. Uh, via vector production for gene delivery market has exploded and analytical tests are a regulatory requirement. So the global cell and gene therapy market is projected to reach almost $12 billion by 2025. So it is a rapidly growing market. I'm quite sure if we were to have this chat again in three to five years, that number would be significantly increased. The challenge with cell culture is that it's very complex. Um, many of the folks here are very adept at manufacturing pharmaceuticals, um, and the, your average drug can be manufactured um, over and over again, um, given all the normal process parameters. Cells are different though, cells are alive. Because they're alive, they can change. If you look at a cell differently, if your pipetting method is different from one sciences to the next, you can introduce differences um, that can have negative consequences uh, to your production and to your assays. So protocol control, scientist techniques, the reagents, these are all important factors when considering um, cell technology and gene therapies. One of the, the more shocking things about this industry is the, the challenge with reproducibility. So, um, the US alone spent $56.4 billion on cell therapy R&D. That's a, a staggering number, but what's more staggering is that half of that cannot be reproduced. So $28 billion of R&D has effectively been wasted because the processes, the protocol, the design of the studies was not able to be reproduced to scale when it came to actually being able to uh, commercialize or productize the therapy. That is a massive waste of money and it is a crime, frankly, if you consider the patients um, that could benefit from these therapies. So we consider industrial cell culture, we think about the four T's. And I'm gonna show you in a little while the, the different aspects of our software and talk about that. But I want you to consider the $25 billion that we just talked about going in the trash. Every single one of those dollars was funneled through legacy systems, legacy LES, legacy limbs, that are simply not equipped to handle the unique aspects of cell manufacturing. So we think about the technology that's in place today it is not sufficient for task when it comes to cells. So when we think about industrial cells culture, we think about four things. Traceability, transferability, training and transparency. So the concept is this, being able to follow the cells from their initial growth all the way through to the final therapy. Understanding who touched it, understanding what equipment was used, understanding what reagents were used, being able to take that from a small scale lab to an industrial scale manufacturing facility without losing the ability to reproduce results. How are people trained? What matters to them? These are all the things that we considered when it came to building our solution. So how do we get there? We get there by digitizing the sampled acronym. State, actions, materials, personnel, location, equipment, and data. You start with an idea for a therapy, you run it through the lab, and these are the things that you consider. In a moment, I'll show you how we've digitized that and are able to reproducibly and successfully 
manage our cell culturing. So the name of our software is Cellport Analytics. Um, we consider it to be a, a next generation lab execution system and I'll tell you about why we think it's next generation in a moment. One of the key things, folks, is that um, Cellport is a cradle to grave system. What that means is that you can engage in the early stages of research with your cell therapy and the system can live with you through development and through manufacturing. That's fairly unique, being able to take those early R&D concepts to uh, create the reproducibility digitally and then carry it through from research to development to GMP. So you can see here the different things we considered in building the software and the different stakeholders that matter and the different functionality that we've built in so that Cellport can live with you from that first day all the way through full-scale manufacturing and beyond. So graphically here, uh, we're showing the lab digitized. It's taken all those manual processes, the three, four, five systems that you would typically use, bringing them together under one umbrella and providing you with a digital experience. So our software um, has been up and running since 2015 in a commercial sense. It supports cell culture. Um, it has supported FDA approved gene therapies for release testing. It supported EMA approved gene therapies for release testing and has been deployed in several different uh, scenarios, including a GMP facility uh, that was successfully audited by the FDA fourth quarter 2018. Uh, most recently, we had another facility that was successfully audited by the MHRA, the UK's regulatory body, in April 2018. And um, these facilities are now certified for human and veterinary use using the Cellport software. Platform also has a number of patents related to deviation handling that are very unique um, and again, very deliberately created to support successful cell culture. We're invited by the FDA to uh, do a presentation um, earlier this year on um, the benefits of the digital assay. So we call the platform our power platform. That's an acronym, Process Optimization and Workflow Realization. So the platform is multi-tenant. Um, it is cloud-based. It is managed by one of the GXP cloud providers. Um, key to the platform is that our workflow engine is BPMN-based. What this means, and I'll show you in a moment, is that in a traditional LIMS environment, you typically have to learn how to script. Um, often you're using somebody else's variant of Ruby on Rails or another scripting language. If you have the skills, that's great, but many companies simply don't. Um, we took that off the table. BPMN allows you to visually create workflows. If you can make a Visio diagram in our software, you can visually build a workflow. The entire platform has been validated um, for GXP use. Um, it is part 11 configurable, uh, meaning it can be compliant in a part 11 scenario. And effectively, we um, have an app approach. So we have a core application that is fully validated, and then we have apps that can be uh, purchased on top of that. So that as you're thinking about your specific uh, scenario for use, we can um, take you very, very close to your last mile. So you're not looking at a multi-month, multi-year configuration or installation. It's something that we can typically build in um, two or three month timeline and have you validated and up and running. So I talked about the visualization. So here we have a workflow um, being built. And they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, in our platform, our picture equals our configuration. We can build this for you visually using BPMN. Um, typically, uh, our engineering team works uh, with our partners, spend a day, understand your workflows, draw them out visually, and then we can translate that into BPMN. Um, for me, that's the most powerful aspect of this platform. It's the ability to visually configure rapidly and allow all the stakeholders to see their processes go from a manual experience to a fully digitized one. 
So some of the benefits um, of our platform, we're able to increase predictability and visibility. We can reduce human error, cost and effort. We're enhancing your ability for tech transfer and scalability. If you remember what I said in the beginning, this platform lives with you. You can go from that initial research through your development and it will scale so that you can manufacture using the same platform. That takes care of a massive challenge within cell culture, which is that tech transfer. So this is our core platform and these are the modules that we've built out. Um, we've done this to accommodate um, our customers as we further understood their use cases in the lab. Again, what we're trying to do is provide a common application, a common set of applications on top of that so that when we go to do the actual implementation in a specific scenario, our focus is simply the use case is the last mile. It's where they do their user acceptance testing and their workflows and their day-to-day -day operations. The application is multi-tenant and it is scalable globally. So um, we, customers have the ability to access it from labs in multiple locations all over the world. All those labs have the same user experience. They are all trained exactly the same. And when working, with this application, you're able to have reproducibility for manufacturing site to site, wherever you are. As I said earlier, the application has proven regulatory success. Um, it's been audited by the FDA and the MHRA, and um, specifically for cell culture models, replacing human bioequivalence testing cell culture models for IND that enable uh, drug transporter studies, and cell culture models for GMP potency and assay release testing. So not only are we seeing success uh, for our customers who are using this, we're seeing a lot of acceptance from the regulators as well. Um, and we truly believe that implemented properly, this platform has an immense amount of power when it comes to cell manufacturing. So that concludes my, my talk today. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, we'd love to give you a demo if you would like one. My information is here. Um, I'm hanging out at the Compliance Path booth down there. You can stop by and see me. It looks like a giant Irish flag, so it's quite hard to miss. Um, so we'd be happy to uh, follow up and have a chat with anybody that would like more information. Thank you to Betty Jane and the folks for um, having us today. Um, I do have a couple of minutes. If anyone has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. All right. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.